begin. You have to make choices, and that's what this whole thing was about, choices. So if you make the wrong choices, you're not going to end up where you want to be. Presentation. Everything was really straight to the point. Everything was in your face like the world is. I was a good person. I believed in God. That's what they all say. Even we believe. We need more of it. We sugarcoat too much as Christians trying to protect our youth, but by protecting our youth, we're handicapping them. So we need to make sure that we're telling them the truth and showing them what the world is really about, but also reminding them who Jesus is and who, why he came for our lives and why he came to save us. to for her to go and do something that will end up changing her life for the rest of her life and uh, her waking up in hell for having what seemed to be harmless fun uh, really spoke to her. just said the men not me. Oh, you're right. But anything outside of God's plan is my master's playground. You gave away your eternity for just a few moments of pleasure. It was just surreal. It was uh, it was reality. Uh, like the gentleman said, what what goes on in there in the scenes is played out every single day in our lives. Get out of here. I got what you want. The best thing in the city right now. What is this? That's the Afghanistan, baby. We're gonna try this out. You heard about brokenness that it caused. I lost everything because of drugs, man. Because I was trying to find fulfillment in the world. I don't care about Jesus. I don't care about your God. Man, get out of my face, man. Think about the things that we go through in this life and uh, the issues that we face and the battles that we fight and what is that conversation going to look like when we do get to heaven and uh, what God is going to say to us in that particular time. I'm not going to get you! You've already given me what I want. Your soul. No. Yeah. It's not a problem. What's happening along you are, we have two different options. We can do the DNA, which is where we remove the pregnancy tissue with surgical instruments. Very quick, safe procedure. Just remember, at the end of the day, this is your choice. You yeah, will have this abortion. That is my future. That's my child. You cannot think of it that no, way. What's the difference, Mom, between me and your grandchild? There's no. It's a life, right? It's a life. There's been a group of kids. They uh, have been calling me a lot of different names and telling me to kill myself and all kinds of different things. And. I was this tonight is just uh, literally changed my life. I love you so much. Please do not give up. How God began to talk and tell me that I was created with purpose and that he loved me and he longs for me. It just let me know that I am valuable to him. It was quite unexpected how powerful it would be uh, the scene with heaven where Jesus comes out and welcomes the young man into heaven. You know, that's the hope that we all have. It's a hung on a cross in your place. The Father turned his back on me. I was thinking of you and the thought of living in eternity without you. It's greater than the sting of death. And so I chose you. I know that the act on hell, it was, it was horrible. It looks endlessly painless, right? but that was just a demonstration. Real hell's going to be way worse than that. Don't you know where you are? Maybe I can help you out. Hail Saint, he 
said that they sit in your house, God, and they don't even know you. And that just really touched me tonight, how many people sit in, in God's house and really don't know who God is. We came uh, quite a far away to come experiencing it, but we think our young people's lives have been forever changed and impacted because of it. We're truly thankful. God bless you. You know, this was the first time I've been through Halloween. We came here because my brother Charlie was so devoted uh, to that Charlie Moyer. But I want to tell you that it was very clear in that Halloween building that we all have a choice and we have to make that choice. Life or death. Following Jesus or not following Jesus and even not making a choice. I think that was stressed so beautifully.